What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to the bench for another episode of the All Things Airfix Group Build and our Airfix 148 Scale Sea Fury. Today, we're going to go ahead and move along with the wheel bays and try to get some stuff done and see what we can do. So, last episode, we overcoated everything with its basic colors. We've got some pre shade, we've got the extra dark sea gray, plus the Tamiya sky on the fuselage and, of course, undersurface as well. So, it's looking pretty good. The finish is fairly smooth, and I honestly am very surprised that I was able to get that pre-shade to show through. I don't know if it's too heavy, but I like how it looks on the undersurface as well, so I'm actually pretty happy with how this is turning out. But now we have to go ahead and move over to things like the propeller. We have some detailed painting to do on that, and we have to work a little bit on the wheel bays. We have to paint up the landing gears, we have to paint up the actual gear bay doors, as well as the inner doors, and of course the wheel bays. So all of this needs to be masked and painted. And this color is actually kind of interesting, so I didn't actually purchase any. I'm going to try to make my own, just to see if I can do it. Now, the color they call out for here in the instructions is a linen color, which looks almost like a yellowish tannish mixture. So we're going to go ahead and start off with some basic, simple yellow. I'm going to make that more of the base. And then we're going to go ahead and tint the base to a bit more of greenish slash brownish color. So let's go ahead and just take a little bit of this yellow here. And I think that looks pretty good. And I think we're going to move over now and add a little bit of Tamiya yellow green. The pictures I've seen online of people, you know, making this model tend to use different colors. And a lot of what I see looks very similar to yellow green. It's not, but it looks very similar to it. So in this case, it brings that yellow tone down a little bit, brings it closer to what I see in my color chart. And I think that's going to look okay. But I still need to go even more towards the brown. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of desert sand. Again, by Tamiya, very minimal. I'm going to take maybe one or two drops here just so to kind of shift that down a little bit towards the browner color. And the nice thing about using aqueous paints along with Tamiya paint is you can actually thin them both with isopropyl alcohol. And since I really like using ISP, 70%, this just makes it easier. Plus, it's cheaper. Anyway, let's go ahead, get this thinned out, and move over and start painting. Let's go ahead and jump into our first time lapse where we're focusing on masking up the wheel bays, painting the wheel bays, masking up the props, painting up the yellow tips on each of those blades, also work on the bombs, work on the wheels, and then eventually unmask everything and see how we turn out. Fingers crossed. So let's go ahead and get that first time lapse started, see what we can do.
All right, everybody, we are back, and I love this color. It actually turned out to be a pretty close match to what I've seen in other people's builds there online, and it actually came pretty close to the paint chip that I have as well. So it may not be perfect, but I'm happy with it. We're going to go ahead and move on. Now, I want to do a little bit of detail painting on some of the actuators and try to get the landing gears more or less dialed in. I'm going to go with a silver color for the landing gear struts themselves, and we're going to, of course, have the inner doors. They're going to be that yellowish linen color, and the outer doors are going to be the lower sky color. So let's go ahead and move over to our second time lapse. We're going to work on the detail painting, get the landing gears more or less painted up and get that ready for next episode when we can hopefully install them. And then we're going to turn over to future and get the whole thing glossed. So let's go ahead and push on guys. We are almost done for today. Alright everybody, we are back and as you can see the Sea Fury is nicely gloss coated. Very cool. I love Future. It's so nice. And of course we've got the wheel bays all nicely painted. Love that yellow linen color. I think I did okay with that. We've got the upper portion also gloss coated. The canopy is just kind of tacked into place. It's not really glued down. We've got the propeller also gloss coated and all the tips of that are painted in yellow. I went ahead and applied some Steinerized white primer and then overcoated it with yellow. That looks pretty good. We also had an opportunity to come in for the landing gear bay doors themselves. We gloss coated all of those with future. I tried to get that pre-shaded show through. I think it did okay. It's not perfect, but it's good for me. And of course, we went ahead and worked on the bomb shackles and the bombs themselves, overcoated with future, ready to go ahead and be installed. Might need a little bit of weathering, of course, but for the most part, we are looking good, guys. But that's going to be it for us. Thank you so much for joining us here on episode seven. Next time, we'll be back, and I'm hoping to go ahead and apply the decals, get that all nicely squared away, and of course, tack in the little fidgety parts and do a little bit of weathering, and then overcoat everything with a nice satin coat. So I think we are on the right track, guys. So until our next episode, you guys know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool, and we'll see you back here on episode 8 of the All Things Airfix Group Build and our 148 scale Hawker Sea Fury. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon.